generation around council estates in London for the last, well, I guess since 2008, so quite a while now. Um, I was involved in putting out this booklet called Staying Put, an anti-gentrification handbook for council estates in London. Yeah, these things can come in useful within legal proceedings. They can come in useful at particular meetings in terms of um, be able to see. Moment, we think the land's going to come up for sale in September, so we've got to get our socks on. They, the, the Health Trust loves us, they'd love us to have the land, but... That's what the People's Plan is all about, and us neighbours are really pleased and we're proud of it. So I think it's a great shame they're doing this, and don't ask us. So once you've sold the land off, you have no chance of okay, My it. question is, how can we create a pan-London organisation to save the states? Lambert to acknowledge and engage in processes where they're supposed to be talking with us. I mean, we had, we, when we were taken over, we had a ready for society. The priority is to try and create that network and find a person to staff it. So that we stop calling these estates, community centres, schools, whatever it is, brownfield sites. We, we're all volunteers, but um, you know, we've already got a little group together. Yeah, resist district heating systems. <laughs> <laughs> I think what everyone's sort of saying here is that residents need to set up their own structures of resistance. Go to cltfund.org.uk and you can apply to get a couple of days with an expert who will help you scope out your idea. One thing I want to talk to you about, which is the, the mayor's consultation on estate regeneration. And the real, the real issue I have with it, it still contains the warm words, but it's really, really unclear. It's really unclear how, if you look at it from your perspective, from the perspective of somebody who's actually living on one of the estates, how do you use the words in that? And it isn't set out exactly what the council has to do at each of those stages with any clarity at all. It's all mixed up. It says one thing at one point and one thing at another. So my main criticism is that it's really badly written. There's an email address at City Hall, where City Hall staff will look at that. It isn't the council's. It is the mayor. If he gets a deluge of people responding to that saying, no, we need ballots, no, we need ballots. Yeah, it's moving. And there's a great deal of knowledge that's been built up around about the expertise of principle that it really is to demonstrate against any demolition. Um, I think another question is, um, is taking action and taking control indefinitely. Because if you are, as Linda said, if you are a community, if you are um, a tenant of a council or house association, even if you fight off anything you want, you could end up fighting off again or again. So take community control. 